Hi friends, the vehicle I am introducing is Toyota Rush 2023 model. The car have a very aggressive look, it's SUV Jeep style with chrome grills and fog lights as well. As we move, as we move on a side view, you notice the height of the vehicle is very nice and it have a 17 inch alloy rims. In this model Toyota Rush, if we see in the back side, the company offered two parking sensors and the height of the vehicle is good because it's come under SUV model. SUV model. In the backlight of Toyota Rush uh, resembles to the RAV4 backlights. Tail light is exactly in the center and the top height of the roof. Further shark tail is provided on the top. If we go to the side view of the car, it, the height the, from the ground level is very good because it comes under SUV style. The body is SUV type and the economy is very good for this vehicle as I mentioned you earlier and 1.5 fell in 2023 model. It is just a listed model and the economy is very Ross Toyota has issued a new design key. It's a very convenient design and it's uh, pushed to start. Very beautiful key design. We move forward to inside of that one. For fuel, the lever is given on the same lever, and this is the knob to open the bump on it. Normally, there is a other type, but now they introduce this knob. The startup of this car, you see the meter. The meter is wide looking with three prone section or minutes and all direction and OD and other data because this uh, is, uh, and the same buttons are not given on the steering wheel on steering wheel the mood of only in the self-installed radio tape cd auxiliary and like that as you see his dashboard is open and for back seaters the direct flow from here, from the center of the console, there is direct flow going to our back in the summer season. So, temperature is the buttons and fan speeds are adjustable. The temperature is electronic temperature display, LED electronic display. And as I describe you, the fabric seats it looks very good and Toyota just introduced a line of this one with a contrast from contrast from the dashboard and this one but there is uh, one thing missing which I also miss the console box there is no console box this is the one thing I miss and this is a car traction button this is a uh, tire set pressure this option is very good and but normally this vehicle is four wheel uh, four speed due to which i don't like this vehicle because in four speed uh, you cannot drive much fast and rpm goes very high when you cross 100 or 120 and the third thing if i turn back the fabric seats are good and we have a separate aircon for the back thrower because it's a seven seater car if you noticed there is nothing more i hope the points are clear the same design radio tape with cd and usb type hi brothers and i am reviewing this car toyota rush 4 overall it looks good but uh, I am missing the console in the back seats. Also, there is not an armrest inside the two seats, but this 
back seats are comfortable because there is a leverage of leverage you can adjust as you like except that uh, there is nothing new in this car but as this car is seven seater for a little big family they give us a separate aircon for the back floors and it is also a good option what they introduced in the car <coughs> the engine capacity of this vehicle is 1.5 Because if it is a front wheel drive, then it looks different orientation of the engine. So, engine bay have a lot of space, but in this one, the battery is on the other side. Normally, the battery is on the right side of my hand, or to the left, and this is our ABS system. This one, and my radiator have a knob on the top, as the Toyota normally says and normally do. So, there is nothing more important than the situation. Spray coil and coolant water. Sorry, that is the wiper water, and the coolant is here. Coolant water is totally different design. I also see this design first time. So, this is a good engine design. On the back trunk, In the back trunk we have a very little space because of this eight seat downside seven seater. And there is no tire here. I will show you. This is a point from where we have to pull a rod, and the tire is on there, hanging down side. So, with pulling a rod and rotating, the tire will come down. I hope so. You understand the concept of the vehicle. And it's a back wheel drive vehicle. I confirmed you. 